Our next stop for our Shawnee County football tour is at Shawnee Heights, and we have the K-State commit defensive end tied in extraordinaire here at Shawnee Heights, Wyatt Hubert with us. And Wyatt, the first full week of practice almost officially complete. You guys go to full pads tomorrow, which I'm sure you're just ever so excited about. But how has this week been for you so far? Uh, it's definitely been a grind week. Uh, this team's definitely working really hard. Like, mental toughness is all about. And, I mean, we're just working really hard, probably harder than any team in the city right now. I mean, we had a pretty pretty down year last year, so we're definitely excited to get this year going and rebuild from last year. I think I spoke with you multiple times in the off season, and every time I asked you about the off season, you couldn't stop talking about how successful it truly was. And I think Coach Jason Swift would say the same thing in the Pigskin Hoops magazine, which, of course, people will be able to grab here shortly. But one little snippet that he says in there is, this might be the best off season we have had here at Shiny Heights. That says a lot going into this year. How was the off season? Uh, well, it's all about dedication, determination, honestly, uh, getting everyone to show up, and everyone did show up, honestly. Uh, it's not just about showing up, it's also about working hard. How much have you improved? In what areas have you improved? Obviously, going to Kansas State, you have that commit out of the way, so you don't have to worry about that, which is probably going to help your brain a little bit. But what areas did you improve in going into this season? Because you have to work on a lot of different things. It's not just one, it's multiple. Uh, well, as a team aspect, uh, definitely my leadership. Um, uh, last year, I was never elected captain of the team. It was kind of disappointing because I thought I was one of the leaders, but it's all good. Um, this year, definitely uh, being the leader of the team, uh, it's, a, it's a challenge, honestly. Uh, setting an example, uh, telling kids what to do, and it's hard because when, when you want to tell, tell them to do something, you have to do it as well, and that's probably the most challenging part. Offensively, you get a chance to work with Trey Brown one final time. He's, I know last year it was kind of rough seeing him go down for an extended period of time. He bounced back, thank goodness, because I think everyone is happy about that. What's it like getting a chance to work with Trey one final time and the rest of the seniors? This is your final year to work with your brothers. Uh, well, yeah, it's definitely a blessing. Uh, not everyone gets to uh, go on and, and uh, continue their continue their career in the, in the collegiate level. Uh, I mean, it's going to be great. Uh, he's been my quarterback since seventh grade. I'm excited to see what, what we have going on this senior year in our hurry up offense. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun seeing that offense, no doubt about it. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with it. Definitely plenty of weapons. And defensively, though, you can't overlook the defense, man. That, that's where that, that's your specialty, being a great defensive then. How excited are you to work with this defense? Oh, I'm very excited. I've put in a, over 100 hours of work this summer individually, not including weights or team, team meetings or all that stuff. Uh, individually, over 100 hours, I actually kept track of all that. Uh, it's all about out, outworking everyone, honestly. The more work you put in, the more work you put on than everyone else, I mean, it's going to show on the field. How many hours did you think Trey Brown put in at his quarterback spot? Oh, I think he took off on me. I was going to say it right in front of him. That way he would react in a certain way. But how many hours do you think your boy put in? Uh, well, he's definitely involved in a lot of basketball this summer. He's doing his, he's doing his own thing out there uh, on basketball and football, and he's trying to split his time with football and basketball, so I respect that a lot. <laughs> No doubt about it. Well, it should be a lot of fun. What's it like getting a chance to work with Jason Swift one final time? Because I know he's one of those special coaches out there, and, and I think a lot of people talk highly of him for a good reason. Uh, well, definitely the most moral coach I've ever had. Uh, he preaches hard work, everything. He he gets me ready not just for adversity in football games, but definitely adversity in life. Uh, you don't you don't get to choose how much adversity gets thrown at you all the time, and he definitely prepared me for that every aspect of life. 